center of the field and intercepted. He's Josh Metellus with a big interception. That was a hell of a catch by Josh Metellus to go up and bring that thing down. Yes, indeed, it was a hell of a catch by Josh Metellus, and it still is one hell of a catch by Josh Metellus. Now, Metellus this year garnered a lot of attention because of his versatility, playing a lot of different positions. What exactly does that mean? Let's take a look at the film, and we'll show you exactly what that means. Now, as we start on Metellus, we're going to start with him as a deep half safety. Didn't see a ton of this, but when he was back there, he still was able to make impacts. And on this first play against the Chicago Bears, you're going to see exactly that. You are going to see Metellus way back here. You got Tampa 2 going on here, right? This is, again, deep half, really deep half. And then you have this safety to rob the middle of the field. So Metellus, again, way deep, right? He's in Bynum territory back there. You don't see guys with the versatility that can blitz, do those things up front, and then work the deep half. And on this play... He does a great job of staying on top of that, but as soon as Fields starts to scramble, he gets his vision back and notices we've got what? We've got a problem. We've got a wide open wide receiver. He's able to break on this football and make a play when the ball is in the air. So Mattel is doing a wonderful job playing deep half safety. In this Brian Flores defense, you've got to be a great open field tackler if you want to play safety. And I think this is where Josh Metellus' strength really shows. You've got him on the outside on this play, and when teams see all these guys at the line of scrimmage, they want to get the ball outside to their athletes in space. Why? Because you have plenty of blockers. You've got a blocker right here and a blocker right here, and they say, our athlete can catch this football and beat this safety, make something happen, gain some ground, maybe move the chains. But Josh Metellus has a different idea. You can't just block him with a wide receiver. He takes on the block, gets around it, makes the tackle for a two-yard gain. His strength, his versatility. You can't block this guy with a wide receiver in space. Another thing about Metellus' game that's huge is his timing, when he's making big plays. Now, if you remember, this is the first time the Las Vegas Raiders were even in scoring position. And remember, this game was knotted at zeros across the board. Watch what Metellus does. Right after a big play by the Raiders offensively, he steps up and does this. You see him, he's at a linebacker, kind of a hybrid safety, sees this ball thrown, but watch his angle and what he does when he gets to the football. He just doesn't make the tackle. He gets to that wide receiver and watch his hands. He gets that ball, punches that thing out, gets it on the ground. Huge fumble recovery at a huge moment in the game. Metellus does more than just make tackles. All right, we've seen Metellus covering ground, playing screens. How about man-to-man -man coverage? Well, you're going to get a lot of that at the goal line because, yeah, this guy can defend the run, but he can also defend the pass. Watch this against the Carolina Panthers. He's one-on-one -on -one against the tight end. That tight end is working his way wide. Why? Because he wants to try to get back in behind Josh Metellus. But Metellus on that inside hip knows exactly what's coming, gets in that throwing lane, and breaks up the pass. So a great job of man-to-man -man coverage in a key area, the red zone of the defense. All right, we've seen Metellus as a safety. What about as a linebacker? Because in this case, he's really playing linebacker. He's playing what you call the dime spot. So he's playing this position underneath. He's not covering a lot of ground, but his awareness and zone is an amazing asset to him. Because on this play, you'll see Jalen Hurts gets to the top of his drop. He's looking at this running back. He wants Metellus to bite on that. Why? Because he's going to go back to the other side. Metellus sees that change and look and watch what Metellus does here. He works his way back underneath. So he doesn't waste himself on the chum route. He's working again back to the middle of the field. So great awareness. Hertz has nowhere to go, starts to scramble. So his awareness of what the zone defense entails gets them a big play. Another example of Metellus and man-to-man -man coverage Let's just make things as hard as they could be. You're playing the Chiefs. You've got to cover Kelsey one-on-one. -on -one. He's out wide. Man-to-man, -man, you got traffic in front of you. Watch what Metellus does, All right? He's covering Kelsey man-to-man. -man. Kelsey's going to make it look like, well, I'm going to run this little pick, and I'm going to work across. And you see where Metellus is. He has cut off the inside part of this route. What Kelsey's doing is saying, all right, you got that. Well, I'm going to pivot, and I'm going to sprint to this corner down here. Watch what Metellus does. He knows that there's separation. He turns and runs. He doesn't look back. He sprints to close the distance and makes the pass break up. Just a fantastic job of man-to-man -man coverage by Josh Metellus. 
All right, how about Metellus at the middle of the defense, right? He's walked up on the line of scrimmage. The crazy part is in coverage. He has the deep middle of the field. Well, how's he going to do that? Watch this. He steps up. He drops back. Now he settles right here. His hips are square. But as this play develops, he understands what Jordan Love is trying to do. They're trying to get this receiver underneath the safety and behind him. So what does he do? Flips those hips and he turns and runs to close that gap, gets there. And even with his back to the quarterback, he's still able to make a play. That's what I said was a hell of a catch. It's still a hell of a catch and a great play by Josh Metellus. All right, we've seen Metellus cover the deep half. We've seen him cover the deep middle. We've seen him cover tight ends man to man. A guy that can cover like that, can he play the run? Well, this again is one of Metellus' strengths. Watch his play on the outside. The Carolina Panthers think, well, we've got a wide receiver out here and we're just gonna be able to, you know, wall Metellus off. But watch him, he looks like a linebacker. He looks like a defensive lineman. His form takes on this block, the hands inside, pads low, getting the separation. And because of that, he's able to collapse this blocker and then come off and then make a tackle. So you can't just block Metellus in the running game with the receiver as well. The guy's unbelievable. Now I've said it before, when it comes to blitzing, it's not just the blitz that you draw up and execute, it's who you're sending. And this is a perfect example of that because on this play, the Bears think they have a gotcha. They think that they have, they have us here. And what are they trying to do? They're trying to bait us. They know that DJ Wanham's coming underneath. Metellus is coming off the edge. So what are we gonna do? Well, we'll just try to get a running back outside. So on the snap of the football, Metellus is trying to do what? Get after the quarterback, rush him, keep him in the pocket. But that all goes away very, very quickly. You get this pitch, able to get a tackle for a loss. That's an unbelievable job of redirecting. One of my favorite parts about Metellus is his ability to blitz and blitz from the inside. Now this next play I love because this is what the Chicago Bears ran with Buddy Ryan. This is what they ran in Philadelphia. This is what they ran in Arizona when Buddy Ryan was with Ted Cottrell. This is what the Vikings ran when I was coaching here. Love to see this again because this is a wonderful blitz. Watch what happens. You see Harrison Phillips move to the front. Now what they're making this offensive line do is make a decision. Do we man block the three guys up front or do we slide the line? In this case, they're gonna man block. And by doing that, that means Josh Metellus is able to get around this center and he's gonna be one-on-one -on -one with the running back. And because Metellus is who he is, he can defeat that block. And that's a win for the defense. Watch what happens. Metellus coming scot-free through that A-gap. The running back is going, oh no, I've got a blitzing safety. I've got to get my pads on him. I got to knock him down. Gets pressure on the quarterback, gets the incomplete pass. Whenever you can get Metellus to go up the middle of an offensive line and not get a hat on him, make a running back block him, it's going to be a win. So when a blitz works once, you're going to want to run it again. Same, same situation right here, just flipped, right? The defense is flipped the other way. You're causing the offensive line to have that same problem, which is what? You're going to have man blocking on those big guys up front. That means Metellus is one-on-one -on -one in the A-gap. It's a little harder this time, though, for Metellus because the running back is on the same side as he's blitzing. So, easier block for the running back? I don't think so. Kamara, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's late, and when you're late to the party, you're going to miss the party. You've got Metellus unscathed through the A-gap, able, though, to keep his feet, get a big hit on the quarterback. What does that end up being? That ends up being an interception for our rookie corner, Makai Blackman. Great team defense. That is exactly what Josh Metellus is all about.